Yes. So seniority dates uh, in global HR model will be using. It's it's one of the important topic uh, for us. It's a built-in functionality. Just we need to configure according to our client requirement. So basically, in the name itself, we can find if we want to calculate the employee seniority in the organization, length of service, calculating the seniority. Maybe if the client is having only one legal entity, it's not that much useful. But if the clients are having multiple legal entities, nothing but multiple companies, so the enterprise is same, it will be only one enterprise. Employee might have worked one year here in ICSA Bank, two years in ICSA Insurance. Both are our companies only. Oh, so enterprise level, if we look at the seniority, will be three years. But if we look at that legal entity wise, here seniority is only one year, here seniority is only two years, right? So uh, like that, we can go for calculate. So seniority date is the basis of calculation and seniority at what level enterprise level department wise trade wise or any other entity when i say entity it's maybe a legal entity or a business unit level different level we can see the seniority dates on the employment information page in most of the cases when we are working in person management we can see it. we can also make some adjustments for the seniority dates if required if required we can go for uh, just the seniority dates here. Okay. How we can go for adjust the seniority date? For example, we joined employers joined uh, here. When we update a person seniority date, we'll set the effective start date and end date can be specified from so and so date. Let's say employers join in this company as a sales consultant. There is a three years seniority. Three years see, uh, seniority is right. And uh, to do an effective date, uh, you can go for update uh, so and so dates. We have to change the date from 1st January 2008 to 31st January 2008 by editing the record. You can go for edit that record. Let's come back to our application. My client goods. We can hire an employee, calculate the seniority for that employee. We can take some existing employee if we have building. Let's say this employee is joined in the organization. So Employee name is Yeva. You can take built in employee also, but we will be get, getting confused. Uh, we have not selected a, a proper legal employer. That's why country name is not automatic. The moment when we choose legal entity, uh, automatically we will get the country here.
Over the person management tab here. Make this employee join in the organization. Two thousand sixteen, council date May first. Yes, join in our niche. Two thousand sixteen. Now let's go to the task here. We can find here senior dates. Now we do not have any senior date calculation so far. Let's go for recalculate. Uh, the system has submitted the request. We need to go to tools menu, schedule process, and cross check the status of the request. It takes a couple of minutes. It's done. I can find uh, the seniority date is total eight years, 29 days. This is at uh, enterprise level, seniority date, business title, for which legal employer, and this is an, so for this business unit, the seniority dates. Okay, so we can go for calculate uh, the seniority date at uh, enterprise level, Seniority date, legal employer wise, job wise, location wise, BU wise, uh, we can go for calculate. For example, uh, let me transfer this employee. Okay, we made some update. Employee join in 2016, and again we change to transfer location, New York. 
let's perform this transaction. We cross check the employment details and then change on the earth is there. Let's go to calculate seniority at uh, Redwood City. Calculate seniority level. I can see that it's showing uh, the seniority date here. So, recalculation at BU level, right? That is at BU level. Now in New York, it is showing three years. New York, it is three years. How about in Redwood City? It is five years. Earlier, it was complete eight years, right? So uh, when the organization is maintaining some thousands of employees, it's very difficult to calculate the senior dates that, that can be done very easily by using this process. Okay. So this is about uh, basically the concept of uh, senior dates in uh, global HR. Thank you.